welcome to the new episode of the Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. I'm Jamie, I'm your host. We have our angel-haired hipster, Curtis, and his son, Bern, is behind the camera, and our happy hunter, and Eddie, is right there again. Bern is so, so excited. We got Gene back again from uh, Obtainium Whiskey, hey. and um, he has a special product that he'd like to, to uh, show off. It's unreleased yet to the public. Yep, correct. Soon to be, as soon as our label gets approved by the federal government, it's going to be on shelves in Illinois and Wisconsin. Because of Iowa law, we will submit it to Iowa and as soon as the state approves it, it'll be on the shelves. Oh, okay, it looks like we got Polish rye whiskey finished in red wine barrel. Yes. Okay, okay. So this is this is very exciting. This is something new. You have not released this. Yep. We don't even have labels for it yet. Yep. And it'll be just like the uh, the white label, no except way. it'll okay. say Polish rye whiskey. Okay. It'll say the distillery that made the product, which is uh, Kozuba and Sons, and I'll go into their story. And then uh, uh, five and a half year Polish rye whiskey okay. from Poland, and I got a hold of some barrels of it. Okay. I... Uh, talked to a bunch of different wineries, local wineries, and Madison County Winery offered me a red wine blend barrel. It was a savory red wine. Okay. And I dumped it in there, and that's about uh, two months of finishing, month and a half-ish of finishing in a red wine barrel. Okay. Okay. And, and the the color, I mean, look at this ruby yeah. red. Yeah. Okay. Truly, and I, I've been calling it ruby. It it is beautiful. Yeah, it is. So you you got barrels from Poland? No. Not from Poland. The story's pretty cool. Okay. It is from Poland, but I did not purchase them from Poland and ship them over. Okay. Kozuba and Sons is in St. Pete, I believe, okay. Florida. Mm -hmm. They started a distillery in Poland, and, you know, Poland is famous for vodka, and they said, why don't we do whiskey? You know, that's a great idea. They realized, uh, and this is the story as I take it, that uh, it didn't really sell well in Poland okay. because they just want to get drunk mm -hmm. uh, in Poland. And that happens. <laughs> so they moved their entire distillery down to Florida and truly great success there. Uh -huh. They've done a great, great job. But they moved with them all of this stock. And um, through the process of moving, some of the stock was sold off. Mm -hmm. And I ended up purchasing some of the stock. And, and stock, uh, you mean the liquid? The barrels, yes. The barrel. I purchased full barrels of the whiskey. Okay. So well, the three whiskeyers are definitely experimental. Yeah, we're right. Right. yeah, we like to try different stuff. We're not afraid. Yeah, no fear. Actually, we're excited. I am. No, I, I'm excited. I'm like, I like it when you mix stuff. I mean, I hope I like. I have like some dragon fire coming out. <laughs> it looks like it really pulled out the the wine out of the barrel. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Yeah, that oh, you nuts. In the bottle, it's just tremendous. Eddie, Ooh. and and that's the the name that I've been giving it. There's a uh, fairly famous uh, whiskey that was finished in. Uh, yep. Uh, that one? Is that the one you said? That that might be it. Uh, I I believe I recall that that's that's the one. And uh, ideally, and I don't want a direct comparison, and I'm not trying to compare it no, exactly. No, we're not doing that. Well, but if you do mm -hmm. truly, the the idea of it is very very similar. Okay. And uh, you know you might like one more than the other, but by all means. But when you compare them, I I think that there's a lot of similarities. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Mine's barrel proof. Mine's a hundred and I, th I think it's 115, 119 proof. What are you getting out of that? Well, it's too late because I've already tasted it. Yeah. But the intensity of the, the I mean, you can you can sense the wine and I really the wish red wine. I think it's I pretty really wish you could remember what the wine was because I'd love to get a bottle of the wine. It's the, the Madison County Red Blend. Okay. So uh, Madison County Winery, it's their red blend. Uh, hopefully soon. They didn't have the barrel available. Uh, I believe it's called Fat Something Port. It's like an American version of port. Mm. Okay. It's spelled P-H-A-T. Um, but I'm trying to get uh, a used barrel of that and finish a whiskey in that. And you're going to release it at the strength? Oh, yeah. So, obtaining a whiskey. Be, this is going to be it. I mean, there isn't any after this, right? I do not have another barrel. Yeah. Finish, finishing right now. Yeah. The red wine, it hits you right in the beginning. You think you're drinking wine, and then it kind of hides the rye for a little bit because it doesn't, um, it doesn't dissipate quickly. Mm -hmm. But then at the end, you get the rye punch, boom, mm -hmm. and then there's heat. Yep. Out of everything that we've tasted, this is my favorite. Yeah, I think this is my Out favorite. Out of your uh, light whiskey, your Tennessee rye, the American whiskeys that, that yeah. we did earlier. 
This is my favorite. Mm -hmm. And I, it might be the color, just was like, hi, oh, look at me, beautiful. shiny, ruby, gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get the wonderful, the scents from it, and then you get the, to the taste, and it is oh. exactly how you described it. You're, you're really good at that. Um, and all that was just a wonderful, great mix. Mm -hmm. I think you're doing a great job. Yeah, this is great. I'm not sure the exact number of bottles out of it. And I do know that some of this whiskey will make up the Jeff Mattingly uh, blend. So that, that's another thing to, to mm. look forward to. Um, there will be about three to four gallons that go into the Mattingly blend. But it, it had a pretty good yield. Um, it was more than the Tennessee rye. But uh, it's special and I do know that I can get more barrels. Uh, the Tennessee distributor, he said a little bit of water does do something to it. Oh, dude. Said it opens it up. Yes, yes. We All only right. do like a one drop or two. I don't know if you want, if you don't want to do it, I, fine. I'm more than willing to do it. Okay, if we're all going to, let's okay. do it. A couple drops. I'm trying to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on trying. What I noticed about it is that the... Uh, the notes of the red wine and the rye, when they blended together, they sort of had this pleasingly medicinal flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, the scent at first was like so overpowering mm. that I, it took me a while to actually uh, acclimate myself to it. Yeah. But then to the nose, I was getting like uh, maybe some cherry scents almost. Like Absolutely. a little bit of fruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you get a lot of fruit. It's it's really nice. How do you feel about the water? Yeah. I think I can distinguish the wine, the rye, and the sherry. Just, just the opposite. I thought it's, it just made it a little bit too smooth. You know, I had this great idea of, you know, people are saying, you know, let's finish it in a wine barrel. And I said, why don't I find a wine barrel? And being that we're a small distillery, I didn't have the, the money to go out and find an expensive wine barrel from somewhere. So I, I called out and Madison County was willing to do a barrel swap, one of our barrels for one of theirs. And I was very gracious and very thankful. And it turned out so well. And I will get... You know more barrels after after the response for this. We really like uh, family. What is it? Beer and liquor is family beer and liquor, and and they're they're nice people. Oh, oh nice. gosh, yeah. And it's a nice time to just get out of get out of town and go travel yep. there. They're, they're and Galena's they're cool a beautiful people. store, or not beautiful store, beautiful town. Tim at family uh -huh. is he was one of the first people to say, yeah, I'll carry your product. Yeah, and, and I respect that. Oh, yeah. I like that. I yeah. like that, and Eddie, I'd also like to uh, build up our subscriber, but by pushing on the button that's right around this area Little here. Bell. Ding. <laughs> With that, that's our cue to call for Vern to sign us off. All for one? <laughs> one, one for, for all. all. <laughs>